Kimmy, why are you angry? We got even some deer sitting together. So Wait, oh, whoa, I didn't even realize Leilana was like standing over her. Corn had some, oh my gosh, Corn found her parents. Hey, my little rainbows, and welcome back to another episode of the Royal Family. So I know I say I'm excited for every episode, but I'm really excited for this episode. And a lot of that being because we're having so many babies in this episode. We're having three different couples have their babies. Two of them are gonna be future heirs. And we're also going to have a garden party. It's going to be the first garden party of the series. I've, I have I imagine that the Royals have had a ton of garden parties before, but like this is the first one I'm actually getting to do, which I'm so excited for because I wanted to do this for a while. And uh, that's pretty much it. But before we begin, I do want to say, well, to, okay, so towards the end of this video, before we end, I'm going to give just a little life slash channel update of just what's been going on. Um, and then I'll talk about like the frequency of videos and episodes coming out. Before we begin though, before we begin the actual gameplay, I do wanna go over the story posts and uh, there will actually be some story posts coming out after this episode comes out that is supposed to take place during the time skip during the last episode. I didn't get a chance to do them all before the video, but I wanted to do this video before I am gonna be in LA for a week during this video coming out. So I, I wanted to get the episode out before that but I will have in the captions like when the story posts take place so you guys will see like what episode and like during the time skip and all that stuff most of it is fluff it's just like fun little story stuff I'm listing them all below as usual there'll be tumblr posts and Instagram posts that you guys can see so yeah most of it's fluff uh, the own um, like well, well so we got to check in with Kaleo during military school there's a few story posts of that we got to check in with Cedric we got to check in with Kazme and the biggest story plot thing that I'll just go over real quick is we saw one story post with some suspicion suspicious men, uh, don't know really anything about them, but one of them was the person who photographed Dean and Leilana during the episode when the reveal of who he was having an affair with came out. Did I say Dean and Leilana? I meant Dean and Ava. <laughs> uh, who photographed Dean and Ava during the episode where the affair that Dean was having on Leilana. Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. So I did a post on that. We saw these two guys say that they're trying to bring her down and you guys don't know who her is. So we'll see what's going on, what their motive is, and that'll be a thing that'll come up uh, later in the series that we'll see. I mean, that's pretty much it. Okay, so the couples that are having babies in this episode is Beltrix and Samaria. We're actually at Beltrix and Samaria's place right now. Um, and then after that is going to be Kimmy and Makana, and then Corn Farm. And then we're also going to see, I got the, uh, the go-to therapy mod. I believe that's what it's called. Uh, it's the family therapy mod. I'll link it below. <laughs> it's by a deep indigo, but we're going gonna have Dean and Leilana. We're gonna check in with them. Cleo's not gonna be back in this episode from military school. We will probably see him in the next episode. So yeah, we are with Beltrix and Samaria. This is currently the home that I have for them. Um, although, wait, hold on. Uh, I realized that this is not placed on the lot correctly because I think there's supposed to be a pool here and it didn't like take correctly. So just ignore that. I'll, I'll fix their house at some point. So we've got Bellatrix here and she's pregnant. We have little Nohayas. Oh, they're so cute. She's a little kiss. But we have Nohayas. Heya here, he is a full-size toddler now. It's very bright in this room. Let me turn some lights down because they're they're all really bright. Okay, there we go. Less bright. All right, cool. All right, there's little no Heya. He's so cute. I posted a picture with him and Samarian Bellatrix, a maternity picture. Okay, so Bellatrix has gone into labor. Princess Bella is bursting with anticipation to meet her new bundle of joy. Uh, Samaria's freaking out. Samaria should change into something else probably. Well, they're just gonna have their baby here. That's okay. All right, so. Ba have baby. She's having the baby. She's go going upstairs to have the baby. I, I need to like set a room and stuff. I love this house though. It's so pretty. But I need to like figure out whose room is who. Oh, oh, oh. Well, this one's meant for sharing. But I think I think they'll have their own room. Like Nohea and Nohea's sibling or who we're about to see. Oh, there's no bassinet here. She's just giving birth. Uh, okay, this, this is most likely going to be a floating baby. I'm pretty sure they're all floating babies, to be honest. Okay, so they had a baby girl. So, Beltrix and Samaria have a new baby girl. For for the names, it's gonna be Lady. So for the name, one of my mods, Mita, she is really wonderful, she's really sweet and so great. So she had a baby, a little, it was, oh, I think over, oh, has it been over a year? I think it's been over a year at this point. And she had a boy, but if she was gonna have a girl, she was going to name the baby Oceane. But she loves the name so much, so I, I, I really,
really want to have a baby with that name. Plus, I think it's a really pretty name. Because, like, normally for, for like, the main royals in Sulani, I, I try to keep it, like, traditional, like, Polynesian names or Samoan names or something like that. But I think for some of the nobles, and I actually think this would be great for Bellatrix in Samaria. Um, so, Oshi, I just want to make sure I spell it right. So, Lady Oshian, and it all fits. Yay! Okay, so we have Lady Oshian. Oh, Windenburg? Uh, Windenburg? No, they're, uh, I think currently they have Su- Oh, right, because Bellatrix had- Okay, Sulani. So now we got baby Oshian, who needs a, a crib very badly because it's gonna- Yep, it's floating. Okay, <laughs> all right. Baby is going to have a crib now. I actually love this Realm of Magic bassinet. It's so pretty. There we go. Yay, all right, they had their baby girl. And I think that's all they're gonna have. I think two is probably good for them. We got a boy and a girl, Nohea and Oshian. All right, I was really hoping to see how Nohea felt about his new sister, but it doesn't- doesn't, it doesn't say. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. All right. Well, we are going to next go to the Sulani Palace. Okay. So I was going to have us go to the Sulani Palace, but then I was like, well, why don't we just have the family? They live next door. Let's, or not next door. The, well, they live close. Um, but I was like, let's just have the whole family, except for Cleo, because he's still at military school. But I was like, let's just go have them meet baby Oshian. So let's knock on, no, knock on the door. Hello? Knock on door. Okay. There we go. All right. I was like, what the heck is going on? But like, I, I want them to meet the baby and then I want Dean and Leilana to go to therapy to see how this works because I don't actually know. You know what? This pool stuff is bothering me so I'm going to get rid of this too. Oh, also I'll do this a little later because I, I use some of the stuff for the garden party but I, I know the wedding pack has just come out um, as this video is coming out so I will talk. I'll talk about that later. We'll, I, I got some some opinions on it. Alright, so Leilana's knocking on the door. Kimmy is pregnant. Like she, she's going to be having her baby soon. I imagine they're like within a couple days of each other, maybe, Bellatrix. Or maybe it's the day after. Maybe they're born a day apart. <laughs> All right, so we've entered. So now the fam's here. Is Dean feeling flirty? Bro, you have a romantic trait? Oh, like old times from being near family. Interesting. Okay. Where is baby? Let's go say hi to baby. Let, let me let me have Dean and Leilana go first because I'm going to have them leave and go to therapy like while we're all here. Go meet your grandchild. So uh, we know we know the eight-month time skip has happened. I already talked about in the last episode that no one else knows about the affair besides like Amira and obviously the people that were involved. And Makai is the only other one besides the people involved. Oh, Amira and Makai are the only ones beside. But yeah, they're the only ones who know. So Dean's saying hi to his second grandchild. As of now, second grandchild. All right, so Dina said hello. Leilana's going to say hi. Um, also, I did see some people say that if they were taking a break from social media, so like they they couldn't like see the post, but um, you don't need to have a social media account to uh, see the Tumblr post. So just wanted to put that reminder there. Makana, can you get off the computer, please, sir? Are you are you excited to have a baby? I bet he's nervous. I bet he's so nervous to be a father. Oh, oh, this is with the Woohoo Wellness Mom. Back pain from pregnancy. The weight of the baby is pulling on Princess Kimmy's back. Oh, no. Craving sweet food, ice cream, cookies, cupcakes, anything sweet. <gasps> Makana, call someone to get her stuff. Oh, oh, also with the wedding pack. With Tartosa, for anyone who's wondering, Tartosa is an extension of Brindleton Bay because Tartosa has the vibes that I've always imagined for Brindleton Bay. It's like Mediterranean inspired. So yeah, it's an extension of Brindleton Bay, part of the Brindleton Bay kingdom. I actually really like the name Tartosa too, but um, it's beautiful. I was going to mention this later too, but um, I do have a stream. Actually, we spent two streams doing it, but um, you obviously don't watch everything if you don't want to. But we explore Tartosa. It's beautiful. I cannot wait to go there more in the series. But yeah, this, those streams are below. The ones where we explored the new pack and everything. All right, so Dean and Leilana has said hello to baby Ocean. So while... Uh, actually, I need to wait till 7 a.m. I think until it's open. Poor Kimmy. Wait, all right, where where can I order uh, sweet food for her? Can I can I cook something, Samaria? Will you be okay with that? Samaria, honestly, Samaria might be like, we've got we've got a cupcake in the fridge or something. I don't know. Sugar cookies. Sure. I don't actually know if Samaria cooks. We're about to find out if these are going to be any good. Kimmy just wants something sweet right now. But Kana, can you go help your sister? Can you can you help cook? I don't know if you can actually. Go here. Go go chat. Go go hang out together. You guys don't live together anymore. You probably miss her so much. So yeah, we're gonna talk about the th therapy thing, sorry, and what's going on with Dean and Leilana. Actually, their friendship wasn't that high earlier. Oh, it's, it's awkward. Okay, current relationship status is awkward. I mean, it's been months. Like, this is after the eight-month time skip. I imagine they've already been going to therapy, but, like, I want to see today how it goes, and I can kind of determine, like, how it's been going. It really means a lot to me that you make time for me. Just wanted to let you know. You know what? Maybe Leilana has, like, started to... I mean, I'm sure she's been, like, not wanting to open up about things. Maybe therapy's helping. I, I kind of want the therapy here to 
determine like how things are going because I want to see because I, I can imagine like both ways for them honestly. I'm sure Dean's been groveling and he's been like trying. Leilana might be trying to open up a bit more because that was kind of always her thing was it was hard for her to open up and to talk about things. I mean same with Dean though. <laughs> Dean didn't really do a good job doing that either. Um, but okay so yeah we'll see. Dean's still flirty. Uh, I don't know why. Okay Samaria made cookies. Kimmy do you want the- Kimmy why are you angry? Wait what? No! No, no, no. Oh, she's having mood swings. Oh, I feel like she's not having a great pregnancy. <laughs> Grandpa is serving for Lord, Lord Oheo. Well, Kimmy wanted it first, although now her craving's gone. Oh, no, now she's angry again. Oh, goodness. Okay, grab a serving. You just get, get a cookie, Kimmy. It's okay. It's okay. Poor baby. She looks pissed. She looks so angry. She's not going to get the cookie, and I don't know why. Samaria made those for you. <laughs> Even though she probably asked whoever works for them to make them, but it's fine. You don't have to tell her that. Okay. All right, family, therapy, and services. Go to couple counseling with partner. There you go. All right, go. Yes, that, that's your partner. Yep, they're going. Oh, okay. Kimmy's going into labor. Kimmy is bursting with anticipation <laughs> to meet her new bundle of joy. Okay, have a baby. Oh, can you, wait, this is in your house. Can you have the baby here? Do you have to have the baby at the hospital? You might. All right, yeah, I think we have to have the baby at the hospital since we're not at the house. I'm um, send alone. You and Makana can go and, and I, I guess we'll hang out with Queen Mother Lokolani then while she's here. Kimmy, oh, what are you doing? Emotional meltdown. No, go have the baby, Makana, go help her, please, please. Oh, goodness, this labor, this pregnancy, this, uh, yeah, um, it's, it's, things are, ask, ask her, what's going on? Can you join? Ask to feel baby. Ask to be snow bro. What? What is that from? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Deep conversation. Makana, go help your wife. Please. She is very uncomfortable right now. Sentiment gain, you make my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. That's so sweet. Now go to the hospital. Okay, they're going. They're going to the hospital now. And meanwhile, Leilana and Dean are um, at couples therapy, attending couples counseling. I don't know if we're supposed to get a pop-up togetherness from feeling close with someone nearby. Feeling great. We're about, we're about to see what they're having in a second. Okay, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how the couple counseling goes. Okay, so they had a boy. Now, I put these names on my Patreon for my patrons to vote. So the name that won is Pilapo, which is the Hawaiian phonetic translation of Philip. And I, I thought if anyone were to name their baby after Philip, like if it wasn't, a, at first I was thinking a middle name because I, I do want to keep like traditional names for the main royal families. Now, I, I know they're not, I know they haven't been in the past, but now that um, now that we got more custom content available and I'm able to like keep things more accurate to kind of what I pictured, um, now I'm trying to keep it more traditional. Okay, so Prince Pilapo. There we go. So that is their baby. Um, oh, did I know they were having twins? Uh, <laughs> I don't remember when. Okay, so I I see their like their I see their gender when they um like if I have to pause the pregnancy. So um I didn't realize they were having another child. Okay, so Kimmy and Makana, uh, Kimmy and Makanaka, Kimmy and Makana had twin boys. This is the first in the main royal family. I know uh, Kona and Aurora, Nani's younger brothers. They're they're the first twin boys, I think. Okay, um, so well, no, I have to I have to see who won the second name. Um, so the name that won second place on the poll is Sione, Prince Sione. There we go. Okay, they had twin boys. <laughs> um, have. have I haven't come back here. It's fine. They're they're just in the baby object preset thing right now. Well, well, we, we have to wait for Dean and Leilana to get back. Well, maybe we should all just travel back to the palace. Okay, so I got back to the Sulani palace and Dean and Leilana got back from therapy, but nothing happened. Like nothing about them going to therapy happened. So I, I scheduled a home therapy session, but now I'm like, well, the kids don't know what's going on. So would they just like lie and say it's a, a, just a meeting they're having? Probably. It's a big palace. They're probably in a different room. So it says, thanks for hiring from Therapists Are Us, your home based. Although it says family therapist and we wanted couple therapy, um, but they're supposed to arrive like now. I guess we'll find out. Uh, we'll, we'll see if this goes well. <laughs> Don't know who I'm looking for exactly, um, but the nursery is upstairs. So we've got Bellatrix, Samaria, and we've got Kimmy and Makana. They're all with the babies. I just realized the, the doors broke. I don't know what happened. Um, they weren't like that last time I was here and last time I checked. So I, I don't know if a recent, I, I know like a while ago we had an update that broke the doors, but I didn't, that's not recent. I'll, I'll fix that. I don't know what's going on. Um, anyway, okay, so where, where's this family therapy?
therapist that's supposed to be here. I just wanted to see this. And if it doesn't work now, that's fine. Like, we, we can go... Oh, you... you. Oh, I kind of gained a parenting level. I'm so happy for him. Okay. Um, but we we can always focus on the therapy stuff because, like, Kaleo is going to need to go to therapy when he gets back from military school. So maybe we'll just do the therapy thing next time because I don't know what the heck is going on. L let's just cancel because this guy didn't show up. And we'll, we'll... We'll... You know what? They'll continue their couple of therapy. That, that's all we need to say right now. Sorry, I know that's kind of disappointing, but uh, that's all we'll say right now. But the mod's not really, it doesn't seem to be working, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. But yeah, we'll, we'll have them continue couples therapy and, and we'll get the update in the next episode. How about that? Go to couples counseling with partner. Yes, you guys go again. This is, if anyone's wondering, this is his current relationship with Ava. If you guys remember last time, it was like full on the friendship and romance bars. But now, now romance is completely down. It's been like eight months. So it's been a while. They haven't seen each other at all. And Ava's still living with the royal family of Windenburg. We'll actually see them. You know what? They might all see each other at the garden party. So we'll see how that goes. Do you know Leilana are a couple therapy again? But we'll we'll check in with them in the next episode. Okay, so now we are in Henford on Bagley, and I'm so excited because this is our first garden party. Some people are not showing up in the outfits that I had picked for them. So I, I'm trying to change as many as I can. So this is just a little lot. This is behind the palace. So it's like it's on the Henford Palace grounds. Um, of course it's the sims so i was kind of limited to like what i could do exactly but usually they're on the palace grounds um and obviously the palace grounds are like super super big uh, i, I would have done it like in the little area in the henford palace in between it but th there's just not enough room and there's not any sunlight or anything so I, I used a lot of the wedding pack items so i mentioned before that you can go see on the stream that we tried the wedding pack on i'll talk about it later too but my overall opinion on the wedding pack is items great cast items and build by items are gorgeous. They're beautiful. There's uh, things that I've wanted for like a very long time. Like, look at this. Look how look how gorgeous this is. It's freaking beautiful. Um, the gameplay is awful. Like, it's so bugged. It's just like you know what? Like for me, the items and the world Tartosa is beautiful, but the the gameplay, no. I would not recommend buying it unless you like. If you're looking for the gameplay specifically, I would not recommend buying it until they fix the bugs because they really need to do that. And it was really rushed, and they shouldn't have released it with that many bugs. But yeah. Yeah, that's my overall opinion on it. Anyway, one other thing I was super excited about. Um, so I have like 10 wedding cakes here. But kind of why are you mad? What is the babies already giving them a trouble? But or are people already helping themselves? That's fine. There's 10 of them. So like, just first of all, this table is gorgeous. Um, but I have 10 wedding cakes here because I was just so excited that we get pretty wedding cakes. And there's so many of them. So I just have I have a ton of them. Um, we're gonna give a speech soon. But yeah, I have so many wedding cakes. I'm so happy. And this here. So for those who saw on my store, it's not really a story post, but um, on Instagram, I posted a picture of all the teens hanging out. I can link that below too. Oh, there's one toddler who's not dressed the way they should be. Hold on. Oh, that's Lady Catalina. That is, uh, you guys haven't seen her. She's so cute. She is Sir Thomas Stratton and Lady Ariana's daughter. Look how freaking cute she is. This is Lady Catalina. Uh, there's Felix in the back. There's Osiris. So we've got little toddlers running around. So there's Caspian. Uh, oh, he's happy. Um, um, oh, is Kelly giving him like the glare? But Alice May and Caspian are, are not, they're still secret. They're no one, well, some people here know, um, but no one's supposed to know that they're together. Oh, there's Evangeline, uh, there's Diana, and there's Charles. Um, but no one's supposed to know they're together. So we'll, we'll see how that works. But Caspian, I know Graham's here. You want to go hang out with Graham? Oh, but what I was saying earlier, so the girl over there, I'll, I'll go to her in a second. But that is William's new girlfriend. So William's just started dating her. Her name is Lady Gia, and Gia is the niece of the Baron of of Chin Ching and we'll, I'll do like another like update video where you guys can see all the nobles and stuff. So yeah, so she started dating William and then if you guys saw too, Minerva started dating Lord Umar who if you remember he was at the debutante ball. He has a twin sister named Lady Zara and Zara and Minerva were actually our roommates at Foxbury. So Umar would just come over and hang out a lot. Like he, he would hang out with his sister but then like him and Minerva became really close friends and they started hanging out a lot more. Um, so I also got a link of stream. Oh, sometimes I get so angry Oh, talking through someone. Oh, goodness. But, okay, so you guys have to watch this if you can. Um, so, uh, 
So we did like a meet and greet. I wanted to test like Malia meeting Nani's parents, which I think she would have done already, but, or her meeting her family, which I think that would have happened already before the Debbie Tom Ball, but we were pretending like it was, you know, before. Then we had, we had Umar meet Minerva's family and the tea that happened. If you want to watch, the stream link is below, but oh my gosh, I was like, <gasps> it was so much fun. It was so, so, so much fun. Look at this, the, the little toddlers with their giant cakes. Catalina, that is a giant piece of cake. Um, Osiris' is a bit smaller, but Catalina's is huge. It's bigger than her head. Who gave that to her? Someone, please. Okay, but let's let's have, let's, let's call the guests to a meal, even though people have kind of already been helping themselves. How many people do these feed? I don't know. Let's call the meal, even though th there's like a whole bunch of food that people can help themselves to, but I kind of just want to get people gathered. What's going on here? We've got Ava and Sadira sitting together. So yeah, Ava's living with them. What? <gasps> Oh, whoa, I didn't even realize Leilana was like standing over her. Oh my God, <laughs> that took me a second. You guys probably saw that before I did. I just, I was like, oh, there's Ava. Oh my gosh. And there's Leilana too. She was just hovering over her. Interesting. But, all right. But while people are eating, um, Amira, I'm going to have you give a speech. Give an energized speech. Sure. Okay. So Amira is giving a speech. People seem to be watching and pretty into it. Leilana is still next to Evangeline, you guys. <laughs> She's like right there. I mean, I don't think she would say anything. Cassie, where are you going? Oh, he's going to get a piece of cake, okay? Where's William? Alice May is like trying to make William's girlfriend feel nice and comfortable and like, because she really doesn't know anyone besides like a few of the teams there. But I don't know where William is. Okay. Oh, Diana. I think I just saw Diana and Bellatrix hug. They get to see each other. Cass Caspian's hanging out with Jabari. Caspian, do you want to talk to Jabari? Oh, no, no, never mind. Okay. <laughs> he's like, no. <laughs> But while we're here, so I, I wanted to do this event. Like, I mean, not just because I really wanted to do it, but so I, I okay, so here's the thing. So I was thinking, okay, so that we've got Ellis and Cornelius here. Did you know they could also like reminisce about their wedding day? I think that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know where it is right now, but I saw it pop up earlier, but I was kind of thinking if you guys had seen in the past, I did a story post, I'll link it below just in case, but I did a story post of a little flashback of Cornelius and Alice May when they were little and, uh, and or when Alice May was little, she was a kid and Cornelius was a teenager just to like, I just feel like they've, I don't know. I just feel like they have always like really gotten along. Like I feel like Cornelius has a huge soft spot for Alice May. And I just feel like Alice May really gets along with like, I, I don't know. I feel like people who have kind of have like a, like a tough exterior, Alice May just like gets along with them really well. I don't know how to explain it. Megan, put some clothes on, my goodness gracious. But I was thinking, what if Alice May, I wish you could do this. I wish you could like talk to someone across or not talk to them, but like make eyes at them from across the way because I feel like, Alice, so Alice May and Caspian, they can't like talk to each other. Al, why are you, you're not sad, Alice May. Why do you, what is this? Feeling protective from adoring someone nearby. That's really cute. But what, what if her and Caspian are like making eyes at each other from across the way? Th like they're, 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 they're trying to hide it, but like maybe she's, they're, I don't know, trying to catch each other's eye. And I kind of feel like, what if like Cornelius sees it and he's like, hmm. Cause him and Alice were secret for a bit. And he's like, I, I, I know that look. Like, I know when you look at someone like that. Like, I'm not stupid. I know Alice May. Like, what the heck? And I, I feel like, what if Alice is like, <laughs> I want to do a story post of this. What if Alice is like telling him a dramatic story and like, Cornelius is just distracted, like looking at Alice May, like well, she's looking at that guy over there. Who's that guy? Like, what's going on with them? And Alice is like, are you listening to me? <laughs> He's like so into it. And Cornelius is like, what? But anyway, what if, what if he is like telling Alice, like, do you see that over there? And Alice is like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, I see it. They're not, they're being pretty obvious. So I'm gonna have, I don't make more sense when I actually do the post. Uh, can you call her over? All right, so Cornelius is, well, I guess he's going up to Alice May. And, oh, they're hugging, okay. And Ellis, do you wanna come talk? So I feel like Cornelius is like, so who's that boy over there that you keep eyeing? And Alice May is like, um, <laughs> what are you doing, Molly? This is not the outfit I picked for you. Also, also I had to turn my reshade down because uh, there's a lot of people here. So it, it, it's starting to, uh, my recording setting said uh, encoding overload. But uh, now I'm gonna have Alice May
I now I think they'd want to meet Caspian. And she's like, well, we gotta keep things secret. And they're like, oh, is there a ghost here? Oh my gosh, our entertainer's a ghost. Nuh uh. We'll, we'll we'll hire someone else. Go away, please. Corinne, put some clothes on. Okay, my goodness. But Alice May's like, we're we're supposed to keep things secret. And Cornelius is like, that's okay. I can meet him. <laughs> so where'd you go, Caspian? You're you're over here. Okay, call over. All right, now they are meeting. Oh, oh, he just bowed to him. Okay. So this this is the first time Cornelius, Alice, I'm meeting Caspian. I feel like Ellis thinks Caspian reminds him, oh hi Gia, uh, reminds him of of him. Oh oh, he, he went to go sit down. But yeah, may, maybe so they meet and then and then like it's just a quick conversation. And they walk away and then oh never mind, Cornelius still wants to go talk to him. No no no, you're 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 good. You don't need to talk to him that much. But then maybe oh did Alice may go already? I think so. But maybe oh Alice may oh Alice may's giving a speech. Oh okay, she had to go and give her speech. But uh, maybe Ellis is like oh yeah, it kind of reminds me of me a bit of me. How do I say that? Way to say that. So I don't know. I just think that like maybe Alice can be a little bit of a like a someone that Caspian can talk to to kind of like realize like okay I, I went through this. I I really didn't like going to events at first because I didn't know anyone. I kind of felt out of place. I feel like that might be something Cornelius might bring up to Alice May. So yeah, I I just wanted that interaction because I think it's sweet and it's really cute. But yeah. Oh, uh, and then we got my Kai. Oh, Araminta, are you okay? Oh, can't connect. That's the same thing that Alice May had too. Oh, we did on the stream try the traditional tea ceremony. Ceremony, which if you guys remember from Hanminta's wedding um, is something we did because it's a wedding tradition for them. And it was so much fun. I loved it. It was like, it's just something I've always wanted too. So I'm so happy Should the tea ceremony actually worked. It, it wasn't that bugged. So that's good. But yeah, I, I think that's everyone. Is Caspian leaving? I think he's leaving. So this was our garden party. This was fun. We So we got the speeches. We, we had the bars. Um, and we had like all, like so many wedding cakes. <laughs> we had so many of them. And we, and we got to see everyone. Oh, there's William. Oh, oh, William. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Let me let me get William to like actually go and um say hi to his girlfriend because Alice May has been keeping her company like this entire time. I also don't know who you are. Oh, you're a stan. Get out of here. Okay, there we go. There's William. William and Gia. There we go. I mean, they're like fairly new. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. I was like, they're fairly newly dating. Um, anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So I'll, I'll do a story post here. Um, with the corn farm and Casme. And that will be it for the garden party. But now we're going, so we're, we're gonna skip, but we're gonna pretend like a week or two, or a couple of weeks, I guess, have skipped. And then we're gonna go to the Willow Creek Palace to see corn farm again, because <laughs> they're gonna have their baby. All right, so we're at the Willow Creek Palace and I was just going to come here to just see what we could do pre the baby being born with the surrogate. But it says the surrogate mother carrying a baby for Prince Court is ready to bring the baby to him. Um, invite them over and ask them about the pregnancy progress. Okay, I, that's okay. Well, th th that's okay. Alternate pregnancy invite surrogate. Um, so I actually have a story to tell while all this is happening. So the surrogate is not the same surrogate that I randomly picked out in the last episode because um I accidentally deleted the surrogate on a stream without realizing it until the following stream. So if, if you go on our streams, you know sometimes if there'll be random townies that show up and they're either like wearing something ridiculous and I'm just like who are you and they're like no we don't we don't need you anymore or uh, anymore I, we've never needed you I don't know who you are especially if they're like in the way of something we were trying to do so we were trying to test out the new wedding pack and we were having uh uh Sadira and Johan we were having them renew their vows and this random townie just came in the middle of the ceremony and just was there. And I was like, um, who are you? Excuse you, and deleted them. Who are you? A fan. Delete. And apparently it was the surrogate. <laughs> um, so I had this awful glitch. I figured this out like right before I was supposed to stream one day and I I just came on just kind of like panicked. And I was like, so I was I was planning on taking pictures of Corn Farm with their surrogate, but I have an issue where like their surrogate is just gone. And there was just a baby just existing somewhere, but I couldn't get to the baby. It was a lot. I had to delete all the relationships that I had to but delete the mod out of the, like, my game and then just do the whole thing again. Anyway, it's a different surrogate. That's the short version of the story. But the surrogate is here. And remember that this is the surrogate and not the donor. So the baby born here, like I'll still name it what we're gonna name it. And then the baby's going to be different because the donor is Ellis's long lost relative. Okay, so the baby's ready? Is that it? Oh, you haven't met. Oh, okay. So yeah, you were supposed to meet her. Like that was the whole thing today that we were going to do. That's baby's due day. Yeah, when is this baby due? Will you tell us? Do they ever really 
tell you that? I feel like they don't. All right, so ask about pregnancy progress. It said the baby's ready to be delivered. Like, do we have a day to have? Well, in fact, I'm very near term. Oh, wait, what an odd coincidence. I think I may be going into labor. Wait. Uh, your surrogate mother will join your household for the time of the labor and then we'll leave it. Once your surrogate is gone, don't forget to welcome new baby so that your child knows who its parents are. Oh, okay. Um, have baby. That's fine. What is happening here? What the heck? Why do, whoa. Um, anyway, sorry guys. Maybe we'll see the, I, I'm gonna fix that in a second. You were supposed to be able to like go to a class and like all this stuff. And so I guess we'll have to see that for a different couple, but this was the last one that was supposed to have the baby. So hopefully we'll be able to see that in the future. Sorry about that. I didn't realize that's what was going to happen. This is the first time I've used this in the mod or this is the first time I've really used the mod. Okay, so we have a baby girl and this is the first. She's going to be the first female heir of Willow Creek. The name, I'm glad, okay, so this won the poll on my Patreon too and I'm so glad it did because I love this name. It's Princess Vivienne, but that's not going to fit right now. So we're going to do PVVN. There we go. And with the last name is going to be Willow. Okay. And we, we need to to uh, fix this situation. I didn't realize there were this many bassinets and beds in here. Like they are not having this many children. Honestly, I can see Corn Farm having, I think they want two kids. Let's just get rid of all of it for now. I need to do this whole thing again. All right, so we, we need to welcome new baby. Pregnancy and family, welcome new baby. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens here. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to cheat some stuff, but that's fine. Um, And, and Corn has, a, oh my gosh, Corn Farm are parents. Oh, I'm so happy for them. Okay. All right, so he's welcoming the new baby and then it says goodbye. So then we would just say goodbye to her. Okay, so I, I know there's something you're gonna have to do. Like this will have to be cheat. Oh no, 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 it won't. Oh, <gasps> yay. Oh, the parents are correct. Oh, <gasps> yes. Okay, awesome. Let, let's, let's have Alice go say hi to Princess Vivian too. I'm so excited for pictures. I'm so excited to see this baby grow. I, I think eventually they will want another baby, but I think that they're going to need time. But that is everything for this episode. We're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. So in the next episode, because I know a lot of people have been asking, we are going to focus a bit on Gabriel and Arya in the next episode. And then we'll also see Kaleo and we'll, we'll focus on him a little bit. And then maybe we'll actually get the family therapy mod to work. But yeah, we'll focus on all that in the next episode. So the update I wanted to give is, is the little life and channel update. Uh, so if you've been following, well, most of you guys already know that I've been dealing with carpal tunnel syndrome for over a year now and I've been dealing with some pretty severe back problems as well that I've kind of been keeping an update on my Instagram story but if you missed it so these have obviously been making videos come out like a lot slower than they used to but at this point I've gotten five out of six back procedures done I think by the time this episode comes out I will have the sixth one done and I will be going through recovery after the procedures too so uh, things still might take a little bit longer but good news is I think it's safe to say that I am officially carpal tunnel syndrome free now which it makes me like kind of emotional to say because I've been dealing with this for so long I, I need to still make sure I take breaks and not work for too long because if I do my wrist will start to act up but at this point like I haven't had to wear my wrist braces anymore I haven't been feeling like constant pain all the time in my hands anymore so that that's a good thing at least like that's a start to healing and and being able to get things back to how they used to be the back is obviously an issue because like I, during filming I have to take so many breaks uh, but like sitting is actually very difficult for me um, and it hurts a lot um, so obviously that makes filming and editing a lot harder for me but we'll be going through recovery after the procedures and hopefully we'll be able to go back to normal eventually because right now if you guys have noticed uh, Royal Family episodes have been coming out like every two months I have the, the History of Winterberg series only has one more video left so I might be able to do Royal Family episodes like one to one and a half months but like in between videos it's usually like two to four weeks has has been the pattern so far, but hopefully we'll be able to do videos more frequently um, once I am fully recovered. And then also Jake and I officially have decided that we are going to be moving to LA uh, either the end of spring or early summer. So that will obviously like, I, I don't know how long that's gonna take because we are moving cross country, but that will probably put like a, a little setback on a video schedule, but I will keep you guys updated. I just wanna let you know, but once we're out there, I'm. I mean, the goal is eventually like once things are healed, 
to get back to posting more videos because I, I miss it. And I know I've been like more active on Instagram really than I have on YouTube, but I, I want to get back to more videos on YouTube. So yeah, that's, that's just what I wanted to say. Um, I appreciate you guys' support and your guys' patience. You guys have been so sweet and so supportive and um, it, it means a lot to me and I really appreciate it. Oh God, sorry. But anyway, so that's the end of the episode. Let me know what you guys think and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.